the gloves off and perhaps you'll understand my uh, frustration okay first of all we take the key open the cap we get a little air drawn in there because the um, tank draws a vacuum as it's pulling through get the wallet out okay so part of this I'm going to edit out because I don't think getting my wallet out and putting in the credit. We're going with the 91 octane of course. I always envy you folks overseas and in other states that get higher octane gasolines. So what this nozzle has if you can see it is this gizmo here and this has to be pressed back before it will release fuel and you have to thread it around there and then lift it up to get the fuel to flow and uh, obviously can't see anything so I go about a gallon at a time I'm gonna go two gallons because it was pretty low but uh, you can't see what the hell you're doing and it's dangerous what could go wrong and you gotta get it out thank you nothing coming up there go three gallons it's kind of uh, a bit nerve-wracking too oh shit well there you go that's exactly what I was talking about pardon the French a a rare case of Gary Cooper that's gonna be enough for now shoot Shit, shoot, merd. <laughs> a rare case of Gary Cooper <laughs> cussing. <laughs> but that's the issue. Would you like a receipt? No. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. So, um, let's get some towels here. I've spilled highly volatile fuel all over the side of my motorcycle let's close it up it evaporates almost as soon as it hits it but still it just ain't right I'm telling you and of course that engine is just as hot as it can be which adds to all the flavor here Therefore, yes, Virginia, I hate fueling. I hate fueling my machine uh, with the stock OEM gas cap. And um, I think for the amount of vapor that I release into the atmosphere, my opportunity to harm the earth in any great and lasting way is very limited. I dare say non-existent. Wah! Okay, I'm done crying. <laughs> okay, done crying. All right. <clears throat> Let's get back on. Head back up the hill. Back to Wistful Vistas. Oh, must it. I'm going to add to my sins by littering. I will be... We have a lot of fanatics in California. I will be on the news. Man caught littering in Rancho Santa Fe, California. Ha 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 ha. He laughs at the damage he's done. Sorry. Okay, this is getting a bit long, but... Uh, we got to suit up here, finish getting back into harness. Um, <sighs> Alright, well you start. Let's see, by the way, let's see what our fuel gate, oh the fuel gate says it's full. Oh, 
will wonders never cease. Oh my goodness. For some reason it didn't want to really catch fire and go. I think I'm only supposed to, uh, there goes my Dionysi vest telling me that it's hooked, it's fired up and ready to save my life. Uh, yeah, that return spring is a little weak on the kickstand. That might be something else I have to take a look at. So, let me just adjust this upwards just a touch again. I'm not too sure what all I've done. So there you have it. That's a quick stop for fuel. We are running 215 degrees F. Pop her into gear. Ease out. Look both ways. And uh, this too is a pretty scary little takeoff point for the reasons that the cars come around the corner, come around an oblique corner that you can't really see too far down. Okay, fuel tank, full. Seventy-five or so miles per hour in just a scant few seconds. So, as mentioned before, she goes. <laughs> she does go. Uh, the ride is enjoyable. I would say the inherent balance of the machine uh, matches that of the 2017. One of the things I was always highly impressed with the 2017, uh, these are not particularly lightweight motorcycles. Uh, I think the manual, uh, or I think the factory says 460 pounds or thereabouts. Not super lightweight, uh, but not super heavy either uh, certainly not all that heavy but enough weight that uh, being a little bit out of balance whoa we got a little bump there being a little bit out of balance uh, would be an issue but they just seem to have very nice uh, inherent balance upshifter is sweet what is happening I think somebody made a left turn into entitlement anchors there. And uh, we'll head up on the hill here and go put her back in the garage for two weeks, I'm sad to say. Uh, one of the things now, it, it, this, this also comes like the last one did, with the uh, battery tender built in. So there is a built-in battery tender port, but I, uh, my old battery tender was uh, about, what it was old. <laughs> How about if we just said that? And I'm not sure that I kept it, so I'm gonna have to rummage around the garage and look for it. Uh, it's a young, strong, virile battery, so hopefully it'll take two weeks without a uh, start. Uh, we shall see about that. But, uh, well, I do have I do have a trifle concern about that, uh, particularly when they're new. You're tra you're training them. Glorious day! It is uh, Thursday, September the second, 2021. I am riding a 2021 Aprilia Tuono factory around the back roads, bonding with it, getting to know you getting to know just who you are and uh, once again I rue the fact that I left my gate transpender uh, on the older machine so I have to go through the gate security and convince them that I'm not in it uh, to steal somebody's sofa on the back of my motorcycle <laughs> not too sure what harm they think I could do but uh, hey rules is rules Anyway, we're coming up. I hope you uh, get at least a chance to see a part of this view up ahead. It is magnificent. It is lucky to live in this part of the world. And riding this machine, all kinds of magnificent. Oh, a little burble. A little exhaust burble. 
from the OEM exhaust. <laughs> uh, am I going to make this light? I think not. <laughs> I think. I think. Therefore, I'm not. Okay, we did get neutral this time. It's always good. An observation is that it's always easy to catch neutral with the bike having a little bit of mo uh, momentum uh, as opposed to being at a full stop to capture neutral. And uh, this one doesn't seem that problem. I must say the 2017 over time got uh, better and better at being able to get neutral of the transmission. As you might imagine, a few thousand miles on these and, and they smooth up. A lot, of, a lot of things, the mechanical components, the motor itself and things uh, smooth up. And I'm really looking forward to that here. Okay, we're at a stop. It's probably mid 70s, low 80s as I said, and I think I'm looking at 200 degrees F or thereabouts. The temp gauge has swung all the way to the left there. which is, yeah, you gotta have some concerns about that. But I remember the uh, 2017 when I first got it was also, also ran very hot. And there was, there were some early issues with some heat shut off. The motor will shut itself off over a certain temperature. All right. Oh, thank you. They know me, they love me. Why wouldn't they? That's so sweet. Boy, I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, rejoice. The world is not full of mean people who just want to be mean. That there was an example. Uh, that lady, uh, security guard, she recognized me. Odd, since I have never uh, ridden this motorcycle through that gate. I actually rode it through another gate we have here. But she might have recognized me on the bike and all of my uh, glory. And then that uh, poor guy works all day long hauling all the gear in his truck and uh, he pulls over to let the traffic go by on a twisty road. I am, I just gotta say, not a bad, uh, not a bad day in just about every way. 2021 Aprilia Tuono couple of really outstanding uh, nice people out there with uh, random meetings and uh, heading back through wistful vistas here I'm taking the long way back because I'm uh, interested a in um, seeing how this handles some of our bumps and things and also wanted to see what happened to the temp so the temp uh, when I started off went down drastically and it's gone down a couple of bars now, rolling along at a steady, oh, I have to keep it under, it's supposed to be 25, but uh, with a little grace, uh, keeping it under 30 is adequate. So on a warm day, not a hot day, not a hot San Diego day, but on a warm day, I think that's saying about 220 some odd degrees. Now, uh, the 2017 one time shut off when I was back in the back country and it was a hot day. Uh, probably did me a favor because I had to pull over and wait a few moments because the motor actually, oh neat, brand new bike and we got dirt and dust on the road from our construction crews. Uh, so I had to pull over and wait about five minutes, a full five minutes before the motor cooled down enough so that it would start on the button and I could get rolling again and I was uh, at after the point where the heat shut it off I was into an area where I was rolling along more or less steadily like this and it ran well. They did, uh, Aprilia issued a recall in 2017, late 2017, early 2018 that addressed that issue. They did some change to the engine management software that, uh, let's see, does this person see me? Yeah, you do. But, um, that addressed that hot shutoff issue. Uh, right around Southern California, San Diego, Los Angeles, uh, 
uh, or out in the desert, uh, that's, that's, that's a problem. So they addressed that via software change, and then when I installed the Akrapovic uh, exhaust and the race software that went along with that, uh, it removed some constrictions and some excess equipment, including the uh, flapper valve, from around parts of the engine, and that extra open space helped a lot. I never had another hot shutoff issue again, and the motor itself ran cooler. So, um, those two things did the, did the trick for the 17. Uh, don't know if the 21 going to have any kind of the same issue, but there are about, looks like there are about six segments, uh, bars across the temperature gauge, and I was in the fifth segment there. Uh, now, I don't know if I kept it there, would it have shut off? Uh, would I have thrown an engine warning light or something like that? Don't know that. I don't know that. Um, but you could feel the heat coming up on it. Welcome back to beautiful, wistful vistas. A nice little ride on a brand new machine. There goes that temp gauge again. It does not take long. It, it jumped a bar right off the bat. Okay, at a stop. Neutral. Ha! <laughs> I'm getting good. Uh, note to self, when I watch this, keep in mind that uh, kickstand spring seems weak. Doesn't slam it up tight. Uh, okay. Temp is saying something that I can't read. 223 or something like that. I don't know. It seems to be sitting there. Now we're in the shade. Uh, anyhow, I'll, I'll let it run for a second. Uh, devil may care guy that I am. So, uh, anyhow, there's a little twisties ride we got in before I hit the road. Yours truly hits the road. Put some suggestions down below. Tell me what's up, what you think. And uh, I gotta say, second uh, ride of any kind of length on this machine and enjoyed it. Did enjoy it very much. Let's go back and check that temperature gauge. Uh, 226F. It's in the last but the high segment. So let's see if I shut it off if we get the engine fans. Yep, the engine fan's running. Oh, but it didn't just shut off. So how bad could it be? Uh, <laughs> makes me wonder. Uh, the chain is spewing some real, some real break-in lube stuff all over there. Not too happy about that. I'm going to have to address uh, putting something here fairly soon because that's where your belly leans as you, as you ride around. So those stickers may come off quickest. In the meantime, in the meantime, from Wistful Vistas, beautiful suburban San Diego, California, just outside the mysterious confines of the man cave. Goodbye for now. Hope you all are having a great, great September.